Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be learning how to design a phone case in SolidWorks. So the first thing we're going to do is open our SolidWorks, then we're going to go to parts. We're going to be doing millimeters and we're going to do ANSI. We're going to click OK. This is going to open up our design window. So while this is opening up, the first thing that I need you guys to do is you're going to be measuring your phone dimensions. So you can either be using a caliper or a micrometer or you can be going and looking up the dimensions. So for this example, we're gonna be making a phone case for an M Galaxy M32. So some dimensions that I need you guys to pay attention to are the thickness. I need you to pay attention to the total length and the width, right? So those are the three big dimensions that you guys need to, to watch out for. The other dimensions that we're gonna to have to figure out here are your distance from the edge to where your phone, where your phone cameras is, on the top and from the side so that way we can cut out this square so that way we can fit this camera in the other thing that you need to pay attention to is do you have any additional cameras so you can see that this one has four cameras and then it has a flashlight right here so we do need to make this window big enough to fit all of those areas okay so as you guys look up the the specs you can go into if you have a samsung you, you can look up the galaxy whatever the model is and then specs and then you can scroll down to find your specs. And so when you look at this one right here for the M32, it says 159.3 by 74 by 8.4. So when I actually did the measurements, I came out with 160 by 75 by nine. So these specs are not always correct. So just always double check the specs. This is gonna get you on the right path, but you do need to double check it with the phone that you have. So what we're gonna be using for this example is gonna be 160 by 75 by nine, inch, by nine millimeters. So when we go into here, uh, this is our, gonna be our design window. I'm gonna be walking you guys through this tutorial, but it's gonna be as a voiceover, so that way I can work. Hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you on the other side. First thing we're gonna do is go to the top plane, go to the rectangle. I'm gonna put my 160 dimension with my smart dimension tool, 75 with my smart dimension tool. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some sketch fillets. So I'm gonna mark the edges, all four edges. So make sure that you do have all four. And we're gonna make that at 10 millimeter. Going back to the rectangle tool, this is where I'm gonna be putting in my window for my cameras. And so I'm gonna put 27 millimeters by 35 millimeters. That's gonna give me a big enough opening. Move that to the center. Now I'm going to do my measurements for the distances from the top, 27 millimeters by eight. Let's move this up here. Yeah, I'm going to put it by eight in here spell. So extruded boss base units is going to be two millimeters. This is going to give us just the thickness for the bottom of our phone case. So when we 3D print this, it's going to be two millimeters thick. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in my width or the thickness of my phone, which is going to be nine. So this is gonna be how the phone is going to be held in place. So I'm gonna do nine millimeters. This top dimension right here for me is going to be, I'm gonna put in two millimeters and this I'm gonna put it as 0.5. So that's what's gonna hold the phone in place. I'm gonna do an offset arc right here. I just exited my sketch. Go on the features menu now. I'm going to swipe to boss base. I'm going to select that edge. Sketch two. 
And I'm going to go all the way around my sketch on the outside, selecting all those edges. This may take a little bit of time. Check mark. And I'll just sweep. So it's the thickness of my phone case. So now you can see where the phone is going to be sitting inside. So I'm going back to the flat tool and inside the features menu. I'm going to go 0.2 millimeters on the flat parameters. Let's do 0.8. Uh, let's go. Nope. Let's do four. So some of this is going to be trial and error. So trying to figure out which measurement kind of looks the best. So I'm going to go with two millimeters there. So another fillet, it's going to be on the outside this time. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to round off all the edges. So that way there's nothing that's like a really sharp edge. Because if you've ever looked at your ever looked at your phone case, you really don't have any sharp edges on your phone case. So I'm just going around and if there's any sharp edges, I'm just going to put a flat on there. So that way everything looks rounded and same thing right here so I'm going to select all of those edges right there I'm going to put an offset and it's going to be at two millimeters I'm going to go extruded boss base I'm still in the features menu here I'm going to go five millimeters this is going to give us a little extra protection on our camera. And so again, we're going back into the fillet tool and we're just going to select all our edges. Again, rounding over all of our edges so that way there's nothing sharp. Because uh, you definitely don't want any sharp edges when you put this into your pockets. So you see I'm selecting all the edges for that extruded base that we just plowed. Okay. So now we're going to select all of our flats over here and we're going to change that to a plastic to a plastic profile and then so once we save we're going to be s exporting this into an skp file which will be the next tutorial on how to 3d print i do hope that you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, please let us know.